Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The process of extracting gold using aqua regia is a common and effective method in the mining industry aimed at dissolving gold from the ore and converting it into a processable solution. However, this method may face challenges when dealing with ore that contains impurities that hinder the process. A strong reaction may occur after adding aqua regia to the ore, indicating the presence of unwanted materials that prevent the gold from dissolving and being extracted. There are many questions in the comments asking why it is sometimes difficult to extract hidden gold from hard rocks, especially when following the steps of extracting gold using aqua regia, but in the end, the gold is not extracted. Therefore, they are wondering what the reason is. If you want to know the correct way to extract gold easily, stay with me until the end. The difficulty in extracting hidden gold from hard rocks, even when following the steps of aqua regia extraction, is due to several factors, including Rock composition Some hard rocks contain minerals and impurities that hinder the dissolution of gold in aqua regia. For example, minerals like iron or quartz may trap the gold within their structure, preventing the solution from reaching it. Gold particle size. If the gold exists in very fine or microscopic particles, microscopic gold, it may be difficult for aqua regia to dissolve it completely because it is trapped in extremely small spaces. Oxidized layers on gold. There may be oxidation or sulfide layers on the surface of the gold that prevent it from reacting with aqua regia. Incorrect mixing of aqua regia. If the ratio of nitric acid to hydrochloric acid is not correct, the solution will not be strong enough to dissolve the gold. Poor preparation of the rocks. It is important to finely grind the hard rocks into powder before using aqua regia. If the pieces are large, the solution will not be able to reach all the gold particles, presence of impurities affecting the chemical reaction. Some rocks contain materials that consume aqua regia or react with it before it reaches the gold, such as carbonates or silicates. After the introduction, we will now return to the video and move on to the gold extraction phase, and then we will review the suitable solutions for all these challenges. Collecting the rocks, rocks that contain gold are collected, usually stones that have gold embedded within other materials. Grinding the rocks, the rocks are ground using manual or stone mills until they become a fine powder. Grinding helps release small gold particles trapped within the rocks. Stones can be ground using traditional methods that rely on simple tools such as handheld hammers or stone mallets. This method is commonly used by traditional craftsmen or in areas where modern equipment is unavailable. The process involves breaking large stones into smaller pieces by striking them, then grinding them using a hard surface and a flat tool or a stone roller to turn them into powder. However, this method can be slow and labor-intensive compared to modern machinery. Sieving the powder, the resulting powder is sieved using a screen to separate the fine materials containing gold from other materials. Water is sometimes used in the step to aid the process. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me provide more content that you enjoy. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates on gold extraction and never miss any amazing video. To always be the first to know when I upload a new video, click the bell icon to receive notifications right away. Later in the video, I will share an exclusive piece of information that you won't expect. Roasting gold bearing ore and impurities is a thermal process used to reduce impurities and convert minerals into forms that can be more easily processed. During this process, the ore is heated in a furnace to high temperatures ranging from 700 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The heat decomposes organic materials and impurities, helping to separate gold from other substances. Heating, the ore is heated, causing non-gold materials like sulfur or acids to convert into gases or other substances that can be removed. 
cooling. After the roasting process is completed, the ore is cooled to prepare it for the next stage in gold extraction, such as milling or washing. The goal of roasting is to reduce impurities that might affect the gold extraction process later, such as mercury or sulfur. Aquaregia is a mixture of hydrochloric acid HCl and nitric acid NO3 in specific ratios, usually 3 to 1, meaning 3 parts hydrochloric acid to 1 part nitric acid. This mixture is very powerful and has the ability to dissolve many noble metals like gold and platinum, which makes it an important tool in gold extraction processes. It is commonly used in processing metals and alloys to separate gold from other impurities. The intense reaction when adding aqua regia to the ground rocks often indicates the presence of impurities or other metals reacting with the aqua regia. This reaction does not necessarily mean that the impurities prevent gold extraction, but it might affect the efficiency of the process. Here are some points that may help. If the rocks contain metals like iron, copper, or sulfides pyrite or chalcopyrite, they might react strongly with aqua regia, consuming part of it and reducing its effectiveness in dissolving gold. Analyze the rocks before using aqua regia with a simple test like a fire assay or a gold detection test to ensure gold is present in the sample. Excessive reaction does not mean gold is absent. Gold might be present, but mixed with other metals that react rapidly with the acid. Improving the process by isolating impurities beforehand could help. Steps to reduce the impact of impurities. Removing sulfides. Sulfides can be separated from gold using techniques such as flotation before treating the material with aqua regia. Pre-washing. Wash the sample with water or a diluted hydrochloric acid solution to remove soluble impurities before using aqua regia. Notice regarding the use of urea in neutralizing nitric acid during gold extraction. As observed, urea does not react as usual to neutralize nitric acid, which is due to the reasons mentioned earlier. As a result, we will not be able to extract gold using this method at this stage. Therefore, it is crucial to pay attention to an important phase in the gold extraction process, which is washing the ore immediately after roasting. This step must be performed carefully to purify the ore from impurities and residues that may affect the efficiency of the extraction process later. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me provide more content that you enjoy. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates on gold extraction and never miss any amazing video. To always be the first to know when I upload a new video, click the bell icon to receive notifications right away. Thanks for watching.